Yes, people, welcome to the Hate Talks Chelsea channel. And this is a preview on the big one. Chelsea versus Real Madrid tomorrow night in the Champions League under the lights at the bridge. And this is making up make it or break it. I mean, I put in the thumbnail, it is missing impossible. That is exactly what this is. And no one believes we can do it. But you know what? We need to have a little bit of hope, man. Like, as bad as we've been this season, these players should be putting putting their life on the line in this game. They should be fighting for the badge. I want every single one of them players to leave it out there all on the pitch when the whistle goes for the final time. Lampard's team has to be on point. You can't be playing the Sterlings. You cannot be playing anyone like that who ain't going to fight, man. We need players that are going to fight to the end and are going to step up in the big games. This is the biggest game of our season now. And this is all we have to look forward to. If we can somehow pull off the impossible... It'll be great for momentum going into next season as well if we can go and do something in the Champions League. Could you imagine, guys? Seriously. Lampard's tactics, as the tactics goes, I can't see him out doing Ancelotti tactically, but he needs to tell these players what it means to play for Chelsea. And this is where you step up to the big, to the big time. Do you know what I mean? This is where we want to see Mudrick start making a name for himself. The likes of Felix, put your stamp. Show us that you're good enough to play for Chelsea. Go out there and score a goal. Make a make a good goal come out of nowhere. Good assist, something like that. We just need, need something. We need a goal in the first 35 minutes. Get the fans behind the team. And then we'll be up for it. One goal, first 35 minutes. Get, up, get, the, get behind the players, man. Everyone going to the game here, just get behind the boys. <clears throat> as bad as you've been this season... Everyone needs to get behind the team. Get behind the manager, get behind the team, get behind the club for this game. This is big for us. It's absolutely crucial. We need to go out there and just don't show Real Madrid. Do not show them an inch of respect. Because at the Bernabeu, I thought we showed them too much respect. Go out there. This is our ground and we're going to play and we're going to fight, man. That is what I want to see. <clears throat> We've got to take our chances. You get a chance, listen, whoever it is, you best take that. Because you look at Felix's first chance at the Bernabeu, first three minutes, you put that in, it's a different game. We need to be clinical. As bad as we've been up front this season, it's the Champions League, magic stuff can happen. We've seen it before at the bridge, and I'm sure we can do it again. I'm just praying, man. Honestly, I'm pulling at strings here to believe in this team. But you know what? We need to get behind them for this game. We need to. Obviously, Lampard in charge. I mean, I can't blame Lampard. I mean, I know he's made some bad decisions in picking a team and that. But listen, he's interim. He's the interim manager as it is, so <laughs> it is what it is, man. But if if we want to win this, the players have got to go out there and win the game for us. Forget Lampard. He's not going to be able to outdo Ancelotti tactically. We all know that ain't going to happen. The much as Lampard can do, he can drill the players into the head and tell them, this is why you play for Chelsea. These are the moments will make you as a footballer because he's been there and done it. I'm just hoping we are on it tomorrow. Every single player from minute one to minute 90 needs to be 100% at it. Just get on their toes. We need to put the midfield. Get on them players, man. Get on Cruz. They're old players, as good as Modric is. Just get on their touch. As good as Modric is, as good as Kamavinga is. If you give these players time, they're going to absolutely destroy us. You cannot give them an inch on the ball. Not an inch. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, how this game's going to go. But I've got to have, I've got to have belief. Listen, if there's a cod up there, Matt, please, please, bro, please. Um, go through the lineup. I would start against Madrid. I'll I'll go for four three three. As bad as it is, how we play in a four three three, I think we need goals. And a back five, back three. Nah, for me, back four, back four of Kepper and goal. Thiago Silva is right centre back. Wesley Fofana left centre back. Cucurella obviously left back. It's Chile's out. That silly red card. Reece James right back. Kante would play as the CDM. 
Enzo and Mount in front of them. Let Mount be that bulldog, that pit bull. Yeah? Running up and down. Winning that ball on the transitions. Have Enzo just drifting, play that Fabregas wall. We need to get him more forward, man. Because then he can play them great passes through like we know he can. And we can cut through this Madrid team. Their defence is not as good as everyone thinks. This season, they've been a shambles as well, only up to the last three, four games. Their defence has been all over the place. Get at Carvajal. Washed up old guy, man. He's got no pace. Mudrick I'll go with on the left wing, yeah? Play Mudrick. Let him get 1v1 with Carvajal and let him rip in a new one. Because that's where we'll get our money, man. That is where we're going to get our change, bruv. Get on that Carvajal and Mudrick. Let him just run right on him. For me, you got to go Kai in the middle. As much as people slate Kai, I understand, yes, he's not good out of position. He cannot play anywhere else for me except the 10. People say he can, he can play his opposition. For me, he can't. For me, he can't. Kai is a 10. But listen, Kai has a neck of scoring in big games. And I think this is where he could step up again. Just play him down the middle. It's all we've got. For me, play Felix off the right. I don't want to see Sterling. Do not, Lampard, please, do not play Sterling in this game. He's toothless. He's got no fight about him, no grit. And we need players who are going to fight. Felix? I know he's been bad for us, but we know he's got talent. We know he's got what it takes to make it. He just needs to be more clinical and he needs to stop sulking and get on with it. And just fight. Show, show us why we should sign you, Felix. I want him to go out there tomorrow night and put a performance where the world is shocked. I think this is why Felix is called so-called generational. I know he's got it in him, man. If he wants to step up, do it tomorrow night. Because all the Chelsea fans will fucking love him for it. Lampard needs to get this line-up bang on. He needs to. If he goes out there and he plays a Sterling, he plays a, a Loftus-Cheek, a Gallagher, anyone like that, a Pulisic, you might as well write the game off. You might as well forfeit before the game's even started. The subs need to be key. The players need to be absolutely up for it. Absolutely up for it. Because Real Madrid think they can just come in and they're going to soak the pressure and they're going to try and counter. We have got to absolutely go for them. As I said in the beginning of the video, don't give them an inch of respect. If we give this team any respect, they're going to absolutely roll over us. It's at the bridge. Show some fight and do not get rolled over. If we go out and lose this game, I want to see every single player leaving everything on that pitch. Bleed blue, man. Fight for the club. And fight for the fans who go out there every week and spend their money on this shit this season. Go out there and prove a point and say, this is Chelsea. As much as it's Real Madrid, we've got European pedigree as well. It's at the bridge, under the lights, anything can happen, people. As far as my prediction goes, I'm just... I'm going to be positive, man. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to say 3-1 Chelsea... Goes free all extra time, penalties. We go and win on penalties, bruv. Just imagine. I'm going to be positive, yeah, with my match prediction. There it is. We go free all in aggregate, goes to penalties, we win. We get through, man. I mean, if you ask me for my honest prediction, I'll probably say 2 1 Madrid. I think we'll get a goal. But I can't see Madrid not scoring. I really can't, guys. As much as I want to be positive, they're going to get a goal. But we just have to make sure we put in a couple of goals as well. <clears throat> but that's that, people, yeah. We've gone to tomorrow night, up the Chelsea. Let's hope we get the fucking win. Let's go through in the Champions League. Before you leave the video, people, make sure you like. You smash that subscribe button. Please, we're on about 25 subscribers, trying to hit that 50. And up the Chelsea, guys. We've got nothing really else to sell on the game. We've just got to show fight, passion. Just play for the club, man. Just play for the badge. Up the chills, people. Hope you like the video. Let's do this, man. Come on.